Iranian military announced manufacturing the first hypersonic ballistic missile to be unveiled soon. Hello everyone, I'm Shafi and welcome to the new episode of Polite Affairs. This channel was not supposed to be uh, covering military issues all the time, though recent developments in Iran are so surprising that we have no choice but to talk about them. The last astonishing report was announced just today. The first Iranian hypersonic ballistic missile. Western and Russian media wrote in recent months that some Iranian missiles could be considered as hypersonic ballistic missiles considering their speed when diving on the target. But now Iran officially announced it. Though it's a totally new missile, we have not seen it and we have to wait till it's unveiled. Firstly, let's talk about hypersonic missiles. What are they? Why only three countries in the world have so far been able to make them? Hypersonic weapons are missiles which travel at between 5 to 25 times the speed of sound, about 1 to 5 miles per second. Below such speeds, weapons could be characterized as subsonic or supersonic, while above such speeds, they are categorized as hypersonic. Unlike ballistic missiles, hypersonic missiles fly on a trajectory low in the atmosphere, potentially reaching targets more quickly. Currently, China, Russia and US have developed fully functional hypersonic weapons in the form of glide vehicles, ballistic missiles, rail guns, and air-breathing cruise missiles having their own respective independent programs and India, Japan, Australia, France, Germany, and North Korea claim to have tested hypersonic missiles. The main advantage of these missiles over ordinary ballistic missiles is that they travel at very high speed which brings possibility of their interception to almost zero. Simply, they cannot be targeted so the enemy won't have any deterrence against them. Hypersonic missiles are a new generation being unveiled by superpowers in recent years. For example, Russia unveiled its first hypersonic Kinjal missile in 2017 and China did it in 2019. So Iran is now closing the gap with military superpowers in this specific sphere. But why and how? To be honest, I don't know. I was really amazed. I mean, Okay, the Islamic Republic has developed a large domestic arms industry in the face of international sanctions and embargoes, making advanced missiles, drones, and also anti-air missile systems. But wait, hypersonic missiles are strategic game changers. They are not supposed to be in hands of a non-superpower country. Iranian news agency wrote, this missile has a high speed and can maneuver in and out of atmosphere. It will target the enemy's advanced anti-missile systems and is a big generational leap. The only explanation I have is that it's just a sign of Iranian ingenuity. In recent days, Iran has announced three major strategic achievements. The first one was Bavar 373, about which we talked in the previous video. If you haven't watched it, you can watch it here. The second one was the KM. A satellite carrier which shows Iran is very close to having an intercontinental ballistic missile with range of more than 12,000 kilometers. KM-100 was the first three-stage space launch vehicle which would be able to place satellites in an orbit 500 kilometers from the surface of the Earth. The United States has called such actions destabilizing as it believes space launch vehicles could be also used to transport a nuclear warhead, though Iran is not still nuclear. And the third one is to be the hypersonic missile. So why Tehran has announced all of the big boys in one week? There is a simple explanation. There is a belief in Tehran that some warmongers in the region, Israel to be precise, are evaluating a real invasion, imagining while the government is having too much domestic problems and young generation are protesting on the streets, such a decision could be justified in the international arena. So these announcements are kind of warnings to any possible aggressor. All of this is at a time when the West is concerned about a possible deal between Russia and Iran for more weapons to be supplied to the Ukraine war, especially Iranian powerful missiles. Ukraine has said it has nothing to defend against such missiles, but US has rejected these reports, saying they have no evidence of such a deal. So aside from economic and social issues, can you say now that Iran is a military superpower? 
Thanks for watching. Don't forget to share your opinion with me in the comments and also to check out other videos and to spend your worthy time with me.